Remember a long time ago when they said the midway updates, the 0.5 updates, would be fairly big updates, they would include lots of things. Well, 25.5 has landed. This has brought a Wukong skin. I think it's a Wukong skin. It is a Wukong skin. I'll admit, it does look pretty nice. Considering his prime has just come out, it does actually make a bit of sense. But at the same time, it doesn't because, well, his prime's just come out. Also, oh, it's the Sandana that has two rings. So without the Sandana, this looks kind of horrible, really. And there is a, finally, a whip skin, which we should be able to go in and have a look at in its closed form. This will go on any whip. Actually, that doesn't look that bad for a whip skin. Considering it'll go on anything, it looks like a huge chunk of ember or something on the end, but it just says it's his signature whip. The Sandana has the, well, it's actually better visually represented here. It has the same kind of ends that match the tail with the whole collection, 225 platinum, looks better than just the skin. The Sandana and the skin cannot be bought separately. So if you want this Sandana, you can only pick it up by picking up this bundle. That's kind of a better look at the Sandana actually equipped there. Doesn't, wow, they've actually made his tail longer for this. So it drags along more than the Sandana does. I've said it before, Sandanas that drag on the floor can sometimes look kind of horrible. The fact that it's the Wukong skin that does this means the Sandana doesn't but they have similar kind of ends to them and actually doesn't look bad at all. The skin itself, well, it actually looks better in person here than it does in the marketplace. And this is normal Wukong, not Prime, so these gold parts are meant to be golden and... Mm, yeah, definitely looks way better in person than that marketplace makes it look out to be. It doesn't look as good in the marketplace as it does in person. Actually, the whip has the same thing. It looks better in person in the game than it does in the marketplace, which is weird because the marketplace is in-game. It kind of shows the in-game stuff anyway, but you can actually get zoomed in on that skin and see the effect on it much better from here. Hmm. I didn't think it was actually going to look that nice. I do, however, wish that the Sandana... You can see the orange doesn't really match the tail or the back. The helmet, at certain angles, does kind of match, but the orange doesn't really match across all the things. That's the only real downside or bad thing I can see to this actual skin. But let's not forget, there is also this skin that goes on, and I'll have to take off the normal colours so it'll actually come through, the Iron Staff. You have to actually equip this separately. If you don't equip it, you will just end up with the normal staff. You have to actually equip it, and now that the glowing bits have gone off the end, you can see it much, much better. Standard skin? Kind of meh, because it's got the bits at the end, long tubes that match. Then there's this, which is a mass amount of details. The bits that come off, obviously they remain the same. One of the very interesting additions to this is this here. It fits in and it shows you what it fits in. It's also supposed to be showing you the stats. It's not doing it for Catch Moon because I'm guessing each, well, the Moon Catcher, I think I actually named that. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's actually coming up with the other one because I have two of these. Going to a different ribbon, it's great because now instead of trying to figure out it's okay, this has multi-shot and damage, this is a bad example. I do have a better example actually. I have this uh, Cernos ribbon that somebody loaned me a while ago and they haven't really asked for it back yet. So it's not my ribbon, will never be my ribbon, but it's crit. For the Cernos, let's see what the Cernos is like. That is a great feature when you are trying to roll these to see, okay, if it had a uh, plus slash and plus status, would this be any good? No. If it had minus impact, you wouldn't take it either. You can actually see the stats instead of having to 
come out of the menu to try and find out what the stats are or opening the Wikipedia to find out what the stats are. It shows it in game in the Riven screen now. That is more useful than anything else really. There is a bunch of fixes as well. Link as always will be in the description below for that. They have fixed the Ropolist's uh, instant kill laser because it would instantly fire them. Uh, it, it was one of the best aspects of his boss, boss battle to have that insta-kill attack. There's only really him and Jackal who had such abilities, but Jackal's has not really been buffed in a while. There was a fix for Nightwave, some fixes for the Revenant, and this, which is why this has been on the screen the whole time. The colour pickers! I actually kind of like this quite a bit. You can add five, yeah, five favourite colour slots. That is going to be really useful. Uh, just by doing that, by right clicking, it will become a favourite colour. But it doesn't just list them all in a row. And I'm actually looking at this and there's 28 colour palettes, but I only have 27. Oh no, I know which one I'm missing. It's the Eminence one, I never picked that one up. The rest of them I have. Or it, maybe it's just not listing because it's there, because I'm pretty sure there's more I don't have than that. But anyway, you can actually go in, and this is not really the best kept secret in the world, but the blue, either of these, will be the blue that, well, it's actually already on him. I think this is why I kind of like this skin. It's using the colours I use all the time. That kind of, well, you can see from the background, it's either that purpley dark blue which is more on the floor than anything else the color of his chest the color of his armor and the orange thrown on the thing so i think i'm a bit biased towards how nice his skin is and yes before anybody asks he will now be stuck here oh wait okay the rumba has left usually he gets stuck but you can now set favorites and i didn't actually want to have that as a fit what are you doing as a favorite because I will set them up. Just interrupt myself going on about being biased about his colours, mainly because uh, I had to stop recording and I don't know where to start from. Then you just click on favourites and the skin, the colours you put there will just appear there. They see, they are the colours I tend to run the most that is going to make things so much easier. And yes, these two are very faint shades of each other. There's orange and only two of these colours are actually available at the moment because the rest of them are from the Easter palette, the Halloween palette, I think, and I can't remember what the other one's from. Actually, I think this is the middle three are available. Anyway, this is something you've been able to actually do for a while. What they've done is added five slots to it, but it is a fairly useful feature, and they've added all of this new thing. I just like the fact that the colour palettes now list side by side, so you don't have to scroll through 28, because there is 28 in total different colour palettes, to find the one you are looking for. And wow, looking through the list of fixes that come with this, it, that is actually nuts. I didn't realize how many different fixes there were because I only scrolled partly down this. But that's about it, 25.5.0, or 25.5.0.1, oh, I do believe that's the silly thing it went for, it, it did. I don't know why it wasn't point 0.1, maybe they're planning something for the point 0.1, but this skin, the Sandana, I was really going to come in here and complain about, well, you probably tell from the start, the fact that they promised big things on point 0.5 updates a long time ago, and that's kind of faded off over the past couple of years, but I can get away with this because, okay, yes, his Prime has just come out, so it makes sense to bring this out close to the prime even though if we go here the prime was released when was it 22 days ago well that makes sense that is when tenocon was on the day tenocon was on tenno live finished and this update kind of went live i am the more i look at this skin the more i like it but again i'm biased it's using very similar colors to what i use anyway and it's when things like that come out, I tend to be. I mean, that blue on the chest is very close to the blue I use, which is not really white and not really blue. It's like faded. But anyway, 
we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.